to answer your first question, yes, the, uh, I saw uh, quite a lot of things yesterday. And um, the photography as a medium is, um, is a very exciting medium for us as well as I think uh, a lot of the artists uh, who, can, who can do a lot of things with photography. And uh, it's got tremendous potential. Uh, and um, the material available in our part of the world to work with, and especially with photography, because my works with photographs and texts, and uh, we, we represent them from the very beginning of uh, our gallery. Um, and we've seen how this career has slowly built over uh, the last few years. Um, now he's thankfully into a lot of survey exhibitions, um, primarily because, for example, he works in a very political context, but he's able to pick up the material which is which is which this country and India and mm -hmm. Pakistan or China is vibrant with, which is sometimes not available to uh, say, uh, I mean now available because of the Arab Spring, etc. So much can be said in my arts. Um, to some other um, places, regions, regions. And that material uh, <coughs> can be expressed in multiple forms of media, whether it's photography, video, installations, performances, um, and um, I think there's a huge potential for that from this part of the world. Um, um, coming back to the second question, um, for me, maybe 60% of my time goes in looking at what I can see, what I can see, and, uh, what I, how, much, how much art I can see. So um, I am uh, constantly uh, looking at new artists, new works, and uh, there's, this is something that we do actively uh, to build the program, and I'm hopeful that maybe in the near future we'll be able to have more artists from from Bangladesh on our program. Yeah. That's great. I, I hope there are enough artists here sitting in the audience listening to this. Um, before we open uh, the panel to the audience, I have one more question to you as one of the patrons of Bangladeshi art contemporary art here. Uh, if you could tell us a little about public art here, uh, do you see public art on the streets? Because um, we took some pictures from the art fair and there's a lot of sculptures which is running in the background there. There are some great sculptures, there's some great installations that we were exposed to uh, since yesterday. Where do you think this is going to go? Do you think the government or will be involved with the museum actually make space for, let's say, the umbrella installation that is sitting outside? Where, where is the future of this kind of art in a public space in Bangladesh? In fact, uh, you know, Dhaka city is a 400-year-old city. But, um, um, and it also has a history of, uh, you know, having great artisans like, you know, goldsmiths, silversmiths, muslin. We all know about them. But here, um, when you look at the government initiative, I mean, we don't have any art museum as of today. Uh, there's only. Uh, in our National Museum, there's a room designated uh, for display of paintings, but there's not a single painting which is 100 year old, unfortunately. But we do have a history of what we call scroll painting. You know, those scroll painting was done on favorites, like, you know, hundreds of years ago, but we don't see them, I mean, we would have lost them. Uh, and as far as the display of artwork, uh, you know, sculpture um, by government initiative, I see there is a bit of hesitation, as I told you in the beginning. But, but sometimes a modern sculpture or something, you know, could be treated as uh, uh, anti religion, unfortunately. But I think we are coming out of it. You know, when you go, uh, as you land Hakka Airport, and the first roundabout, if I can give you history, there was some installation and overnight that was broken and that disappeared. It remained like that uh, for almost six months and then we found something very neutral. Uh, so we are going through a phase and I think we will overcome this because the energy of, as Elaine said, you know, creative artwork needs freedom. Without freedom you cannot get the space. 
And I think we are going ahead, we are marching ahead, and we will definitely prevail, we will conquer, because I always say, the good will always prevail over the evil force. And, and this is a good energy, good force, and I think five, ten years from now, you'll see many places outside, you know, public places where you'll see many nice artwork. I thought you were going to say outside of Dhaka as well. Yes, outside of Dhaka as well. Because Dhaka is a, is a huge city. Yes. And one of the challenges, I think, for any uh, large pieces is that just it's, it's, you know, it's, just, it's, it's a space. Just, it's, yeah. So where do you put public is, or art? It's going to have to go up because down is, is, uh, yes. is almost filled. I think that, that artists have been very creative here Absolutely. in terms of finding public spaces. I think Zaman Khan is in the audience and other people who have been able to do that. but. Um, in terms of who owns the spaces, that's again where you, your original comment on the private sector and being able to use those spaces and maybe in, with or without government uh, funding. Um, I think that that's a big one. And then also getting it outside of Dhaka, yes. where there would be a great hunger. In fact, in, in fact other than Dhaka, I think you have uh, in Chiribal, Rajshahi, Bogra, Kulna, and Narayan. These five places we have uh, art colleges. But I think it's public, public art colleges. Yes, yes, public art colleges. And so, you, you're right. And one of the things, answer your question? Uh, yes. Sorry. sorry, I was saying this. One of the things that we, we've been talking about in the public space, and I'm on the you know, small panel, <coughs> is uh, government ministers in, in India on art in public spaces. Because we've been trying to, uh, for all public buildings that are going to be built, we allocate a very small portion of that part to, to the art. And, to building art for that building. So when you have walk-ins of regular people, they interact with art. And it's, 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 a, it's something that we went, we learned from Germany because they use a lot of public spaces for art. And um, we, like, it's like you may get a water connection certificate, unless that criteria is met, you only get the building certificate to start off. So it's as, you give it as, as equal importance as building of the regular uh, infrastructure. So, those kind of things is what some percentage of, of the construction of the building. Right. Yes, in Korea they do that. Yes. If you go to Seoul, you'll, you'll be amazed at how much yes. public art there is. Because in, in order to build, you have to allocate, like, I think it's something like 30 percent of your construction budget to public art. Yes. 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 This, could be, this, this could be one of the best ways to ensure that you know, with every building there is a space to think. And, you know, and, and there's a creative artwork, and, and in most buildings I was so last year, and and I was I was so thrilled and to see this the whole city, which is one of the most modern and busiest city. But this artwork was giving so much of you know sort of re energy <laughs> people, and I think this is what we do here, and I'm sure that our city. Yeah, I've had a market there. Um, I'm you know, remembering now in London. And one thing that I would say is so wonderful as an art uh, collector, as an art enthusiast, as a friend of the arts, is the accessibility and the absolute generosity of artists. Uh, and I'll say, I'll speak specifically to Bangladesh. So, and I gave the example of going to uh, Monier's house in Spain, and I can give so many examples of uh, Bangladeshi artists and Bangladeshi gallery owners welcoming you know, yes me as a diplomat but also you know really anyone who's interested in their work to their homes and coming as a um you know, from my country coming as a new yorker i can say that that is sometimes the case um, but uh, my uh, uh, friends who come here to do programs we've done a couple programs one with gallery cosmos one with gallery kaya working closely with the institute of fine arts here um, and the artists who have come here who are very senior artists specifically in, in printmaking have also been overwhelmed by the reception that they've had. And so the, the access that we receive, um, yes, as diplomats, but also I think just as um, people who are interested in the arts in Bangladesh is a tremendous thing. It reminds me very much of the type of reception that I got uh, you know, years ago. It's, 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 it's changed. It has changed a bit in uh, India. So now I can, you know, I can access these folks because I know them. But, um, but maybe it's changed. But here in Bangladesh, uh, just the welcome, and then I would say the quality of the work is undeniable. <coughs> so um, the, uh, um, the, the, the practice, the seriousness, the discipline, and the dedication 
that I'm seeing, certainly from the senior artists here, but also from the students. So at the University of Chittagong, at the University of Rajshah, the public universities, or the private universities, and certainly at Charter College Institute, it's a very high skill level. And um, the printmakers who have come here have commented repeatedly that they've not seen a, uh, you know, this level of printmaking, specifically in a really long time. So if you're interested in printmaking, this is a good place to be. Um, just would add one thing um, onto what Elaine was saying. I, I agree with everything from the freedom, the importance of the, uh, the artists, the gallery owners, the curators, the freedom of speech, absolutely. The other thing that I think could really be a contribution to the Bangladeshi uh, arts uh, uh, work here is the, the um, additional resources. So um, I see so many artists here who are stymied to some extent by you know, the lack of high quality paper. Um, you know, acid-free paper, acid-free, uh, uh, you know, the backings for, for, for matting or paints. And what um, artists here are able to accomplish with much more meager resources is uh, humbling to me as a, as, a, uh, as a diplomat, but also as a, as a human. So that's, I, would, I would put that out there to those who are interested in you know, certainly collecting, but also bringing in uh, human talent, but also bringing in um, resources. And I think that a lot of the artists here can speak to that. Do you think um, <coughs> programming YouTube um, would allow not just works on paper or flat art or sculpture, but also a space for alternative art? Absolutely. You know, whether it's videos, whether it's performance. No, completely. Yeah, sure. No, I think that um, this, this exhibition, I, I have to, again, uh, just applaud uh, Nadia and Rajiv and uh, Sangani for, for this uh, exhibition, which has brought together so many artists, so many galleries. It's been a very unifying experience for, uh, in my mind, for uh, Bangladesh art. Um, but you, you do see the, you know, the installations, the new media. Um, we had a bit of a conversation yesterday with Drift about you know, how a photograph can be sent very easily or you know, again, a video as well. I mean, a large installation, sometimes less so. There's, there are costs associated with that. But um, there's, there's definitely interest. Um, I know that we have some artists who are interested in coming and participating in, um, again, like a Fulbright program or an exchange program here uh, to do that type of work. And there are some of the private universities are focusing quite a bit on the media. But I think that is an area for communities that could be a huge boom. And you see, you, know, you know, represent nine uh, in Calcutta, and you can speak that better than you. Um, um, in terms of the um, the, 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 the I think the new media is an area, but the the works on paper I think will continue to be uh, a, a real selling point. Thank you. And um, going back to Elaine, um, my question is: Do you see parallels between, let's say, uh, the movements you saw in China from uh, the very nascent stages? or what you've seen in India, because you've been following uh, what we've been doing as well. Um, do you see any parallels, or where do you see this going forward? I mean, let's say the alternative space, as well as flat sculptures, the <coughs> normal, traditional works of art that we are used to. Yeah, 